Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can plot this spherical harmonics in Python and can create this type of figures. Okay. So uh, first of all, the question is, what are the spherical harmonics? So in physics particularly, uh, it is nothing but the solution of the angular part of the Schrodinger's equation. Okay. And uh, if you want more details, then I suggest you, you must visit this brilliant.org website. They have discussed this topic really nicely. Um, and down here, you will find this YLM theta phi equation. And this equation represents our spherical harmonics. Here, L and M are the uh, quantum numbers and theta and phi are the variables. And here, this P L M cos theta represents the, our uh, associate Legendre polynomial of Lth degree and Mth order. And this e raised to I M phi is the Euler identity, uh, which is basically a mixture of real and imaginary part. So, as we all know, we can't. Um, handle uh, imaginary uh, stuff in our code so to tackle this problem we have used a trick so what we have done is we have um, divided our problem into three sections if the value of m is greater than zero then take real part of ylm which is nothing but the cos m phi into legendary polynomial and if your value of uh, m is less than 0, then take imaginary part of lm, which is nothing but sine mod m phi into um, legendary polynomial, okay? And if m is equal to 0, the case is very simple. Simply put m is equal to 0 in p uh, lm, okay? So, and one more thing, this um, square root term, uh, we are denoting by klm, okay? So this was all guys. Let's jump to the coding stuff. So this is the plan of action, friends. First of all, uh, we shall define three function which uh, uh, convert our spherical coordinates into Cartesian, then uh, function to evaluate legendary polynomials, and uh, next is function to evaluate associate legendary polynomials. Then we shall jump to our main code. So as I said, first function will convert our spherical coordinates into Cartesian coordinates. Then uh, legendary poly function will uh, evaluate legendary polynomials at given value of L. And uh, uh, if you want to know which uh, form I have used then uh, you can visit this legendary polynomial Wikipedia page and uh, go to this recursion section and this recursion relation I have used in my code and next is associate legendary polynomial uh, here also I have used recursion relation from the Wikipedia page so in recursion section this uh, one uh, square root of one minus x squared this formula i have used in my code so you can easily find that on internet and the uh, next is uh, you have to enter uh, let's jump to in main code first is uh, user have to enter this l and m quantum number which are nothing but azimuthal and magnetic quantum number the next thing is normalization constant as i said that square root term and uh, value of phi and theta so in physics uh, we all know that uh, phi varies from 0 to 2 pi and theta varies from 0 to pi and uh, here also i have um, adopted that standards and the next important thing is value of y this is the most important section so here what i am doing is i have um, created this loop and for each value of 
theta and phi, it will check if m a m value is greater than zero, less than zero, and uh, equal to zero or not. Okay, and accordingly, it will uh, uh, calculate value of y l m. Okay, the next thing is take care about negative y. So why it is important? So uh, the way we are going to plot this thing is uh, we are imagining a spherical um, space in which our y uh, is going to act as a radius, a variable radius. Okay, and uh, as we all know, in a, a spherical coordinate system, radius can't be negative. But uh, here, in some cases, uh, we uh, are getting negative value. So what to uh, do in that case? How to tackle that problem? So to tackle that, I have used a trick. Suppose you have a negative r in a spherical coordinate, then it is suggesting that your um, theta has some uh, phase angle, which is pi. And these equations are the same. But this uh, is more valid, okay? Because radius can't be negative in um, spherical coordinate system. So I have done the same thing. I have introduced this pi phase shift in theta. The next is convert data into Cartesian form for the plotting purposes. And uh, if you notice that um, in our spherical to Cartesian function i have kept this y at the position of radius see that this radius and here it is y okay then the last is plotting and this code will plot our data okay so let's run this thing okay enter the value of l uh, let us say 3 and 0 let's see what we are getting wait for a few minutes yes so you can rotate it see how beautiful it is and uh, let us try some crazy number let us say seven and say four let us see what we are getting okay okay so this type of beautiful figures you will get I welcome you all to visit my GitHub account and um, um, contribute to my uh, code. I have uploaded this code on my YouTube, uh, GitHub account. So please go there and uh, visit and uh, experiment with this code. So see you guys. Thank you for your attention.